What's up guys, this is Kyle from Wax Museum, and what you just saw there was a clip from a recent Pacers Magic game that I went to in Orlando. I knew I wanted to go to this game and, and try and get some Pacers autographs, and also I was in the section by the tunnel, so it, it, it was just a great opportunity for me to try and uh, capitalize on, and, and that's what I did. So I want to show you my setup, I want to show you some actual clips of me getting autographs, and then I want to show you some of the results. So um, the first thing that I do here is I've got these like divider or like scrapbooking photo pages. Um, you can get them in the craft section. I've had these for years. They're pretty durable. That's why I get them because they last. Um, I used to put them in a binder when I did baseball. Some basketball arenas that might work. You just kind of have to feel it out. For Orlando, it doesn't work great for me because you're usually leaning down quite a bit. Uh, but I still like the binder pages because you can put photo corners on these and use kind of a dummy card and you can put eight cards on a page. Um, I also attached them to a clipboard here. That way they had a hard surface to write on. And then just to make it easier for me, I, I attached a Sharpie with uh, Velcro. That's not necessary, but um, it made for a you know successful trip for me. So I just thought I would point those things out. Um, also, if in case I needed it, I did have some string ready if I needed to drop this thing down from a greater height. I didn't have to. I don't like doing that. It causes a lot of attention to be put on you. I didn't. I don't like that. It's embarrassing. But anyway, I didn't have to do that. So um, as for the cards, I'll use this page as an example. So you had Halliburton and you had Buddy Heald, um, who've got plenty of cards out, but not Pacers cards. And I decided to make customs for them. And I'll pull one of these off here so you can see it. Um, but these, uh, the customs that I make are a little bit thicker than a standard card, so they are durable, although they're still a little bit flexible. Um, you know, I found that that works. It's a template I found online years ago that works really well. Um, I know I butchered the, I wanted to do this game night thing, kind of like a next day autograph, and I, I put the wrong date on it, and I was so mad at myself after, I, I saw it after the fact, and my wife said, well, um, you know, now it's like a real Panini card because there's an error. So, yeah, thanks. Um, as you can see here on this next page, you know, three of these are Panini cards and two of them are custom. So um, let's take a look at some of the players signing and then I'll show you the cards up close so you can see the results. Yeah, I got you. All right, so um, that's my recap of the Pacers and Magic game and getting autographs. Um, I appreciate you watching. And as always, remember there are new episodes of the podcast that come out every Thursday, and I'll definitely be giving this experience in more detail on a future episode.